Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the floating point uh, representation. So in this video, I'm explaining some more examples in the floating point uh, binary representation for converting uh, a decimal number, binary numbers into the decimal numbers. Okay, so students still if you're having any doubts in the floating point representation, you just comment me in the comment section. I'm here to help you. And if you want more examples also, I'm here to help you and to give you more examples. Uh, now let's have a look on this. Convert the following floating point binary number into decimal. So here they are given uh, a, a binary number and they are saying that this is a floating point number. So this floating point number I need to convert into the decimal number. So whenever they are given the floating point number, these conditions they need to be mentioned. So it means what is the size of the mantissa and what is the size of the exponent. So that they have to be mentioned. Then only we can represent, uh, convert this number into the binary uh, decimal number. Okay. So this is a number they are given and they are saying we have to assume 9 bits as mantissa and 6 bits as an exponent. <laughs> okay. So now what is the format? What is the format? So here the first bit is always indicates the sign bit. So the first bit is always indicates the sign bit. So what is the sign here? Here it is a zero only because if, if one is there, then it is a negative number. If zero is there, it is a positive number you are getting. So the first thing is we are going to get a positive decimal number, a decimal fraction, sign bit. Now next is a mantissa. So what is a mantissa here? The mantissa here is uh, total nine bits is a mantissa. Here I am taking mantissa. And lastly, exponent. I already said you can change this mantis and exponent here wherever you required. So the representation can be changed. So the mantis are total nine bits or this. So to take only the nine bits. Four, four, eight, nine. Okay. One, one, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. So total nine bits. Nine bits is a mantis. Okay. So next six bits is a exponent so remaining six bits are there okay so the remaining six bits i need to be take let me check this example so i had written one more uh, so one one zero one zero 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 uh okay four zeros five so total nine bits i got here and the six bits is zero 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 one one okay so six bits is exponent. I had written one zero extra here. I think so four five. Yeah, sorry. So while copying, I had done a mistake. So this is the number they are given. I represented this binary number into the floating point, a single precision format. So it's a sign bit, uh, mantissa and exponent. So now convert this into decimal. How I'm going to convert into decimal? So first let's work on the uh, exponent. So convert this binary number into the decimal number. So what is the exponent here? The exponents which are in the binary representation. The binary representation converting into ex uh, decimal means how? So I just easily explained here. So 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5. Okay. So 2 power 0 means it's nothing but I'm just writing here 32, 16, uh, 8, 4, 2, 1. Always take the first bit, last most significant bit as a negative. If 1 is there, then you'll get the negative exponent. If 0 is there, you'll get the positive exponent. So always take the most significant bit as minus. Anyhow, it is 0 only. 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So, multiply 1 into 1, uh, 1 plus 2 into 2 into 1, 2. Anyhow, all are remaining zeros only. So, you are getting 3. The exponent is, you are getting it as a 3. That means 2 cube because this is a binary number. A binary number they are given. So, the exponent is 2 power 3. So, 0, 1, 1. 0. So, I am just taking because exponent is 3. So, you need to write the decimal point here. Why we are using exponent? Where I need to keep the decimal point? So, for that we are calculating the exponent value. 0, 1, 1, 0 dot 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 into 2 cube. Okay. So, this is the binary number still it is in not in a decimal number but it is representation in the floating point representation so this is in the floating point representation so let's try to 
convert into decimal fraction. How I am going to convert into decimal fraction? I will explain it is a trick. Always take the powers. So this is this is the right side. Left side is the negative numbers and the right side is the positive numbers. This is the integer part and this is the fraction part. So convert the integer part as well as convert the fraction part. Convert the integer part means 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. And whereas this is 2 power minus 1, 2 power minus 2, 2 power minus 3, 2 power minus 4, 2 power minus 5, 2 power minus 6 like that. Because this is a fraction part. Fraction part always you have to take the 2 power minus and here you need to take the positive integer. So that means this is anyhow 2 power 0 it's a 1, 2 power 2, 1, 2, 4. Okay, so 1, 1, 0. I'm just writing only 1, 1, 0. So this is the integer part. Now coming to the fraction part. Fraction part here 2 power minus 1 means 0.5. Better take only 0 0.5. Remaining anyhow all or zeros only. So no need to take all those things. Okay. Now convert it. 4. 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay. 6.5 to the base 10. 6.5 to the base 10. So this is the way we need to calculate students. Still, if you are getting confused, I'm taking more examples on this. Don't get confused. You just watch the next video. Then maybe you'll, your doubt will get clarified that. What I had done here, I just taken the binary number, whatever they are given. I'm, I'm converted that binary number into the decimal number. You'll get it out, ma'am. Shall I convert directly, right? So 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 3. I can convert directly. Why I need to take all this? But they are saying that this is a floating point binary number. This is a floating point binary number. It means they are given everything in the form of mantisas and exponents. So if... By using that technique only, you need to convert the given binary number into the decimal fraction. You need to take it as convert into fractions. We are converting into fractions. Thank you.